Hi there, today we're going to be looking at parallel lines cut by a transversal. So first we have our corresponding and we can place them here and here. And the important thing about corresponding angles is that it's almost like you're sliding one on top of the other. It's exactly the same place um, and it looks exactly the same except one is on this parallel line and one is on this one. You could have corresponding angles here and here, um, or here and here, but here we're just going to give this as an example. The next is alternate exterior angles. So they'll be on either side of the transversal. That's what alternate means. So one will be on this side and one will be on this side of the transversal, but they'll be exterior, so they'll be outside of the parallel lines. So here we can see it's above the parallel lines and here it's below the parallel lines. Next are vertical angles. You can have a whole bunch of vertical angles when you have this, these parallel lines. I'm going to give an example of these two. I think of these as a bow tie. Whenever two lines cross each other, you have uh, vertical angles, the two angles that are across from each other here and here. Uh, we could have two angles, uh, vertical angles here and here, this orange one. There could be another one here. In fact, if I drag this down, oh, not that, here. Now these two orange would be uh, vertical angles. Next is same side interior. They're on the same side of the transversal, and they're both inside the parallel lines. So that's what makes them interior. So they're same side of the transversal, and they're inside the parallel lines. So they're same side interior. Now we have alternate interior. So those are either side of the transversal, so alternate, but inside of the parallel lines. So they're alternate interior. And lastly, we have same side exterior. So these are going to be on the same side over, but they're exterior, so they're outside of the of the parallel lines. So yeah, they're on the same side of the transversal, but outside of the parallel lines. So I hope this has been helpful. If you want this uh, little graphic organizer, there'll be a link um, in the description, or if you're on the blog post, uh, there'll be a, a link to it right below.